here with uh, somewhere in the country. It's a beautiful area, and there are nomadic individuals here. And this shows the vast difference between the country and the city. But then again, these, these people are kind of like gypsies. They travel around, they don't, they don't drive, they don't, they're not really recognized as part of the government. And as you can see, here, flash here on the camera. As you can see, people are, these people, they won't even know what hit them. They don't even live in the city. They don't watch the news, they don't watch TV, they don't read the newspaper. They have no idea about the, the problems arousing between our governments. tent over there, that was what the Shah of Iran, the Reza Pahlavi used for, that was where in, 19, in the 1970s he used his, to invite dignitaries and heads of state and Vice President Spiro Agnew of the United States was also someone who visited. And the Shah compared himself to unite the people of Iran between the Parsi and the Meridian tribes. He compared himself with the Archimedean rulers of Iran or ancient Persia. He went to the tomb of Cyrus and he said, Cyrus, sleep well. Because I am your, and the star Iranian people still make a joke. They say when the Shah left Iran after the Islamic Revolution, they say, "Well, Cyrus, sleep well, because I am all gone." Tea. I drink so much tea when in Iran. Uh, that's the only thing that you can drink. This is all they have for drinking. No wine, no booze, no liquor, no <laughs> you know, no uh, marijuana, alcohol infused bong hits, nothing. Nothing for you. Yeah, that's right, Brian. This is what you get. This, nothing else. That's true, that's true. Iran and America both believe in Pink Floyd, even though Pink Floyd is an English band. It doesn't produce uh, nuclear energy for war. Uh, it wants to produce uh, nuclear energy for uh, to for producing uh, electricity. Okay. So American people are good. Yes. But but the government are not from now.
Hey, hello. Hello once again. Let me just tell you that I am at the one of the most highest points in the country, in the state, in the city, called BAM. B-A-M. Kind of like Barney Rubble used to be, bam, 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 bam. Well, this is just, this is a city called BAM. And, uh, you know, as you can see, the, the view is completely incredible. I mean, it, w it was built, this whole place was built out of clay. Like really soft clay. Softest clay around. And, uh, you know, one bomb could just totally disintegrate this area because this is just the only thing really holding holding together this this area is is water a little bit of water and some straw and the rest is all loose clay it's a beautiful beautiful place There you have it, folks. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. This is my friend Magda, and uh, we're here enjoying the sunny day. Isn't it a beautiful day? Well, she doesn't speak English, but she can kind of feel the sun because it's really, really hot. So, enjoy yourself. Have a good day. Thank you for the interview. Mahnog. Okay, these are my new friends from Iran. You're all from Iran. My name is Brian. What's your name? How do I feel about traveling to Iran? I feel, I feel Iran is in the middle of a lot of problems in this world that, uh, that have been started years and years and years ago. But there, in this country there are no problems at all. These people can just be the proof of the fact that Iran is a very happy, friendly place. And, uh, and I'm surprised they, they all understood what I just said. I guess they're very, very educated and they take lots of classes learning how to speak English. Congratulations. We're standing on the banks of the Zivandaya Rut River on Ishfahan. Behind me is a group of Iranian boys singing and dancing. There they go, singing. This is a sign. The sign that the Iranian people are about to explode. Their explosion for freedom, their explosion for the idea of expression. That they want to express themselves, they want to be free and liberated.